Hi, my name is Jonathan. I uh, just want to go over some of the new updates with uh, New Church Communication Director. Uh, this man seems to be a very woke person. All right, so we've heard this all over a dozen other channels, right? So uh, the point I want to make is people are looking at this and saying, is this the direction the church is going? And I think we need to look at the priesthood keys and the church itself, kind of like a, a marriage, like a man and a woman, Adam and Eve, that the church traditionally has gone apostate um, in, in history. All throughout history, we have now, I'm not suggesting that the church is going apostate, okay? Just hear me out. We have patterns of apostasy, yet we always have the the priesthood, patriarch, the leader who preserve the goes on, right? Because the spouse has turned into a harlot. The, the spouse has been unfaithful. The, the woman, the church, has been unfaithful. So the priesthood keys are taken away from the woman, right? Think of it this way. The, the, I ask myself, are, are the brethren under duress or something here? But you get this guy. Uh, is he the best for the job? You know, he's he's good at communications in the world. Yeah, that's exactly what he's good at. We know that, <laughs> but sorry, uh, I've been sick for the uh, past few days. This is the best I've felt. Um, uh, finally got COVID. So yeah, after all these years, I finally got it. And trust me, I've been tested a billion freaking times, a ton of times. Uh, I got an at-home test. It's about a year expired. Yeah, I, I think it's still accurate. It says I got it. So what do I do? Do I go to the doctor and, tell, and, and get told to get rest and drink fluids? Maybe get prescribed a steroid or antibiotics, whatever. No, I, th I think mine was pretty mellow. So I'm going to go to the doctor, cut up some pineapple. It's rich in vitamin C. It's rich in minerals, has broline, breaks down uh, the mucus, deteriorates it, right? So pineapple, papaya has this uh, substance called broline that breaks things apart. If you were to marinate your meat in pineapple and stuff, it would turn into putty, right? So stuff like that, that's good. Took some leftover grilled chicken and white rice and just took some uh, broth, chicken broth and... Lots of herbs and carrots. Just made myself a uh, homemade chicken soup from leftovers. And that that does the trick. Put some sriracha in there. It's good. Some chili flakes. It opens up the airways. I had any this morning. But yeah, that that's that's my all cure. Pineapple and and uh, herb rich warm broth. There you go. Um, now back to this communications director. I, I think people keep looking at this like saying, oh, are the brethren, are they going astray? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that the, the keys are still there. The All of that is there, obviously. So I've heard some hypotheticals. People are given hypotheticals like, what if the church were to come out and say it? The, they won't. The corporate end of the church, the Utah, that portion, there, of course, uh, has fallibility, and everybody has fallibility, but they're going to polarize more towards worldly things. And uh, this is why President Nelson said in coming days, you'll need to, you will not be able to spiritually survive. And I think it's because outwardly you look at the corporate church and go, 
oh, that must be the church. That that's that's all wrong. When in reality, we forget. It's where are the keys? Keys are with the brethren. The brethren have not have not given room for this type of uh, acceptance. They've warned against it. But if the corporate end of the church does that, that's the corporate end of the church making its decisions. Like a man and a wife. A man and a wife must be in an agreement in marriage. But a man is not going to force the wife to do something. The wife starts making its decision. It is now breaking its covenant in the marriage, breaking away and going astray. Or it's at least entertaining those ideals. And this is what we see all throughout history in the Bible and in the Book of Mormon. When Nephi, Lehi's family, leave Jerusalem, that those are keys. These people have keys. They're leaving the city. The city would be considered the majority, the church, right? The Jews. But we see some key holders that are departing out of there. Now the man is leaving without the woman. The woman chose a different household to be part of. The, the, she became a harlot, sold her, out her virtues for the social persuasions of the world. But then they go in return and they pull out uh, a family out of Israel. And this is, you know, what? Th th this is how they get their wives. In a sense, you could think of the key holders also meaning their church with uh, Ishmael's family. They're grabbing Ishmael. This is now how they're able to grow. That essentially is more than just the sons of Lehi and Zoram receiving wives. It's a symbol for the church. It's the wife. Uh, it, it's, it's the woman. So think of that when we go through uh, Nephi with Come Follow Me this year. Um, soon. Sorry. Uh, obviously, I've been sick. I've been writing up notes. I've got some really, really great videos I want to go over. I got like 27 pages worth of notes and links and all that stuff. What I'm trying to do is with this new video, I'm trying to make it in a narrative style. That this time I'm actually going to read from my notes in a narrative style. So I have notes. I'm trying to make a narrative out of it. And then I'm going to record myself reading it and find some imagery to put with it. Finding the time to do that is hard. And I've got the backup stuff is just a matter of you know the last minute changes and it's not going to come together all perfect or anything and there's a lot of background to understand a lot of context to understand uh, that i'm not always able to get into so i have to put imagery in it to uh, uh, allow for people to latch on or understand a little bit better if they don't have the uh, the background on it i'll try and put all the links i can I don't know when that's going to be ready. I'm not ready to record yet. I just wanted to put out this little video. This little video about the communications director. And, uh, yeah, you're, we're going to hear inconsistencies coming from church. You know, members of the church. There's always faults in there. There's always junk going on with members of the church. There's leaders in the church that are are downright people we'd probably disagree with. At the same time, I'm somebody that people would downright disagree with too. Um, yeah, yeah, everything, everyone. There's always something to disagree with. Um, there's people who contra uh, contradict doctrine too. Heck, some people might have an issue that I have a beard. It's me. I really don't care. It's not a. I don't have a beard. I'm a rebellion. I have a beer because my wife loves it and I like it. <laughs> okay. It's easier to manage than, than razor burn on my face every day. It's practical. So, 
um yeah I, that, that's that's pretty much it all right i'm still a little bit foggy headed so i'm just gonna end it right here you guys take care and uh yeah recovery is coming fast and uh don't lose faith in in the brethren the keys all that is still there and we're gonna see some you know some cotton head and ninny muggins make some stupid choices that are socially politically you know crazy quirky whatever um but that's in your branches too it's in your wards it's in your stakes it's it's everywhere and uh, those people don't get to high places without you know latching onto things in the world okay um I, I, I've never raised up really well in, in society because to me, it just doesn't, it's just certain things I get outspoken about and, and not in a contentious manner, just saying, Hey, I don't think that's right. And they're like, Oh no, throw that guy out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's lots of mental health issues. We're losing uh, military personnel more towards uh, suicide than to conflict. Um, I, it's almost like humanity's on a planned obsolescence. It's not just for iPhones and apps and things like that and technology, but mortality is a planned obsolescence. But with a greater purpose, the adversary is trying to use it for something far more nefarious. So, I got to go rest. All right. Have a good day.